Hello, I am Todd Cotta, and I have my daughter Catherine with me again today, and this is King's Gun Center TV. The 2017 SHOT Show just ended yesterday, and while I was there, one of our suppliers shipped us a gun that we saw over there. The new 9mm Springfield Armory EMP Carry Contour. I've owned the original EMP 9mm and 40 back when they came out in 2006, 2007, 2008 when they were releasing those and really, really love those guns. And those have kind of been the staple for the 9mm line from Springfield and kind of set the standard for 9mm in the industry. I don't know if you ever remember it, but I, I took a picture of your mother holding one of these oh, yeah, yeah. with the barrel mm -hmm. pointing right at the gun. I remember that. Mm -hmm. That was her EMP 9mm. Ah. I had the 40. That was our original EMP that we bought back in the day. You were a little girl back then. <laughs> this year, Springfield Armory has introduced seven new products to market for SHOT Show, and that's just variants of what they already have. Uh, two new variants of this gun, and actually the EMP line now has five different guns you can pick from. The one we're going to talk about today is the 4. It's called the EMP 4, which is 4-inch concealed carry contour 9mm. Some special features about this gun is they come with a fiber optic rod front sight, but no night sights in the rear, something that you might find in a Kimber Ultra. Mm -hmm. One of the things that really impressed me was they used G10 material for the grips. Now, the first time you saw this gun, what did you think about the grips? I felt like it was kind of rough. Like I almost didn't like it, but I don't. Know, I still want to try it out. Yeah. When you look at it, when you first look at it, it looks very, very rough. Mm -hmm. uh, the TRP, and there's another one from um, Springfield Armory that has very aggressive grips. When you grab it, you have like little dots all over your hand. They're so sharp. This one here, they've toned it down a little yeah. bit. And um, tell us a little bit about the weight and the specs on this gun. When it, when it is empty, it's uh, 30 and a half ounces with the height of 5.5 inches. The barrel is a four inch stainless steel match grade with a full on length of 7.5 inches with a forged aluminum alloy frame. And it includes uh, three nine round blue magazines. Overall, when you take a look at the gun, it looks very much like the original EMPs. It does have a nicer grip. One thing that's nice is they call it the contour carry, but it's actually a bobtail. If you look here at the back side of the gun, they've cut it back for concealed carry make it a lot easier. It's time to get out to the range and give this thing a try. All right. Okay, here we go. The G10 grip feels really good. The biggest difference I saw when I was at SHOT Show last week and this gun compared to my original EMP is this little contour or bobtail they have really feels good. It doesn't force your hand to open up anymore. It brings your hand in nice and tight. So let's see how this thing works out with the high-vis sight in the front, standard sights in the rear. Give it a try. Here we go. I'll be shooting number one. Lock back. Looks good. It is 30 ounces, but you hardly even feel the recoil of this gun because it is a 9mm gun. Uh, nice grouping down there. Very easy on the hand. You don't have to over grip this thing. The, the G10 grips, they match the stippling across the front of the grip here. It didn't move in my hand whatsoever. Very nice shooting gun. The magazine was very easy to load. It was very, I could do it very quickly. And the grip on it looks really aggressive, but actually it doesn't feel that bad in my hands.
actually really nice and there wasn't much recoil at all like you said. I really liked it. Well, when you take a look at our target here after shooting, Catherine, uh, if you saw, had a couple stovepipes in there and I think that she needs to lock her wrist a little bit more because that gun has a very stiff spring and it's brand new. I shot my nine rounds right here with no problems, but when she was doing it, she had a little more muzzle flip, and I think that's causing the, the gears not to work correctly in the right. gun. Overall though, uh, you have a very nice pattern here, uh, very easy to control for you. Mm -hmm. I still feel like I get a better grouping when I shoot the full size 45. Yeah, well, it's a whole lot different when you shoot the big guns versus this one, but the purpose of this gun is to not have the big boom and the, the big recoil mm -hmm. and the big push that you get in the 45. And, and I, I think they did it well with that 30 ounce gun. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, out of the box, sighted in very well and seemed to do a very, very good job of uh, keeping our groups in there. Well, there was your first chance of shooting an EMP 9mm from Springfield. It's been a very popular gun since its inception and now they're doing things like all black guns and then this contour which is the bobtail comes in this really nice case uh, three magazines uh, kind of a really good almost pelican style case very nice for Springfield mm -hmm. to do that so overall what do you think about this little gym it was really fun kind of wish it had night sights yeah yeah but you can always put them on there if you want, but for the you know $1,200 price tag that it has, or $1,300, it maybe should come with it, I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, very beautiful gun, very easy to manage. Uh, you're not the you know most strong shooter. Now, we did have a little trouble with you on the range with this gun. We had a couple stovepipes and um, some other issues, but... I think that if you lock your wrist more and do a little more aggressive grip, this brand new out of the box gun would have shot better for you. Yeah. Because for me, I shot all nine rounds mm -hmm. and just drilled it in there. Um, probably just a little bit more grip on that gun would have done you well. Controls are easy, great grips on these things, mm -hmm. and the contour makes this gun very easy to hold. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if you're looking for a gun in the 9mm 1911 class, please do take a look at the Springfield product. They have several different options in 9 and 40 with the EMP, and I think that you really should consider them. Go down to your local ranges, see if you can rent one, feel one, um, and I guarantee you it'll open your eyes to what a 1911 could be. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. I think that's about it. Great. Well, thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to our channel. We do appreciate everybody who subscribes to our channel, and we hope that you uh, watch some more. Thank you for watching King's Gun Center TV. Yeah.